Hey guys, welcome to your beautiful cabin in Invermere, BC. I've got an evening yoga class for you today. Now this yoga class is going to focus on letting go of any tension in your body, especially after a long day at work. And we're really going to focus on honing in on that lower body. We're going to really strengthen the legs and help you find a better balance through your practice. So if you're ready, grab a mat and let's do it. All right guys, so we're gonna begin today in a posture called Supta Baddha Konasana. So what you're gonna do is come all the way down onto your mat, soles of your feet together, and just simply allow your knees to open up nice and wide. Just letting go of any tension, reaching the arms over your head, and allowing yourself to take a couple of deep breaths here. Taking a deep breath in, slowly bringing your knees together, arms down, and then exhale, allow the arms to come back over your head and the knees to open. One more time, just like that, knees together. And open those knees nice and wide. A couple more times, bring the knees together. And open. Staying here for a moment, feeling that stretch in the hips, in the inner thighs. Taking a deep breath in. And then a slow exhale out as the knees come together. And slowly bring the left knee into your chest. Other leg extends all the way down. And then continue to roll that left ankle around, letting go of any tension in the joints. Keeping the foot flexed, grabbing underneath the knee, and slowly start to extend the leg. You can go as high as you like, as long as you feel a nice stretch in that hamstring. Hold and breathe. Beautiful. Let's bend that straight knee now. Plant the foot down, pointing the top foot, single-legged bridge. You're going to lift and lower. Two. Three. Starting to wake up those glutes, the hamstrings. Five. And six. Seven. Now last one, hold. From here, you're going to do your bridge kicks. Lower the leg and kick it back up. Lower and two. Lower and three. Your goal here is to keep those hips up. Don't let them dip down. Five. Six. Two more, seven, last one, eight, beautiful, hold. Awesome, and then slowly take the body down, reaching for that leg, and then using your core slowly, go ahead and lift yourself up to seated. Flex your foot, reach for the left foot with your right hand. Now you can bend the knee if you can't fully extend, that's okay. Or if you can do a full extension, go ahead and then follow with that twist. So you're simply following that left arm all the way back, reaching through the crown of your head. Hold it here. And then back to center, extending the right leg, and then taking that left knee over top of the right knee, so your hamstring fold. Your hands come underneath the right knee, and simply fold over top of your leg. So you want to think about your forehead reaching for that left knee here. Really nice stretch for the hamstring. You may even feel this all the way over to your sacrum in your back. Beautiful. Come back up. Releasing the leg and the arms and taking a roll up exercise all the way down first. Push the arms. Roll yourself back up. Nice and slow, using the core, reaching forward, and then scooping everything in, so hollow the belly, round the spine, take it down. Reaching over your head and press, reaching forward, forward fold. And back to center, hollow the belly, take it down nice and slow, beautiful. 
Let's reach the arms over our heads and take it to the other side now. So right knee into your chest, single leg stretch. Go ahead and roll out that ankle. Letting go of any tension in the ankle joint. And then from here, grabbing underneath the knee, flexing the foot and go ahead, extend the leg. Feel that hamstring stretch. Hold and breathe. See if you can bring that leg a little closer to your body. Pointing the foot. Now go ahead, bend that straight leg. We're going to go into our single-legged bridges. Arms reach up, lift the hips and down. Lift the hips and two. I always say think about wanting to touch the ceiling with your toes. So look at your toes, reach up and bring it down. Awesome. This is a great exercise to engage the glutes here. Hold it. Let's take our bridge kicks. Lower the leg and kick it up with power. Lower and kick. Lower and big kick. And four. You got four more. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Hold it. Lift a little higher and then drop it down. Awesome. Reach for the leg. Let's roll ourselves right up over to your seated position, taking our seated twist, flex your foot. Now the left fingers reach for the outside of your foot. Now bend the knee if you need to. Keep the knee straight if you can. Extend, lengthen through the spine. And then from here, reaching over to the back of the mat. Taking a nice twist. Focusing on the breath. Coming back to center now. Extend that bottom leg. Take that right knee over top of your left knee. Hands underneath the straight leg. And then simply start to fold forward. An amazing stretch for the hamstring. You want to think about resting your forehead on the right knee. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lift your head, roll yourself back up, and extend the leg, reaching both arms. Let's take our seated head to toe, forward fold. Now remember, keep your back straight. If you need to bend your knees, please do. And let yourself come forward. Trying to grab your toes. If you can't grab your toes, reach for those ankles. Focusing on releasing any tension out of the hamstrings. Reach it up, come to center. And then from here, we're gonna take our next exercise called rock the boat. Simply come to boat first, rounding through the spine, come all the way back to your shoulders and up to boat for one. Awesome, rock it back. And up for two. Now really focus on that core. Keeping the core engaged. Finding your balance as you come to boat. Awesome. Last one. Coming into boat posture. Now hold it here. Breathe. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Find your breath. Beautiful. Now stay here or you can extend the knees if you're out for a little bit more of a challenging posture. Awesome, bend your knees. Let's transition over to our plank position now. So you can swing the legs or go through the legs, shoulders over the wrists, just holding this plank position first. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, pushing back into that downward facing dog. Good, just take a moment here, allow those heels to sink down, open through the chest, through the heart. Rounding forward to plank, hold. You're gonna do a chaturanga push-up. Come back up and then take it back into your downward dog. Again, come forward to plank. Take a push-up, bring it up, and downward dog. Two more times. Now if the full push-up is too hard for you, you can always modify by going on the knees. And push-up. And downward dog. Now last one. Round through the spine. Plank position. Take it down. 
Push it up. Very nice. Downward dog. Hold it here. Go a little deeper this time. Push those heels down. Deep breath in. Exhale, reaching the right leg up to the sky. Bending that right knee when you're ready. We're going to go ahead and bring that knee and think about touching the chest with the knee. Extend all the way to your one-legged dog and then bring that knee through to your chest for two. Extend all the way up and touch the chest for three. Last one. Touching the chest for four. You're going to hold that knee and go right into your elbow touches. Remember, right knee is going to touch your left elbow first and then right elbow. One. Touch. Two. Touch. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Or 16 if you're counting it single. Holding your single-legged dog and then stepping forward now into your high lunge. Holding here first, finding your center. And then keeping the left hand grounded, reach the right arm into your twisted lunge. Hips are square, you're looking up to the sky. Find your center, bring yourself up to your high lunge. Palms together. And then go ahead, come into your single-legged chair twist. I like to call it single-legged because we're not in a real chair, we're in a high lunge position. Good, really think about digging that elbow right into that side of the knee. Deepening that twist. Now if you're up for it, try adding on an extension of the elbows. Now if this is too difficult for you, no pressure, keep those hands together. Hold, and we're going to transition into a full chair, simply stepping the back foot together with your other foot, looking up towards that right elbow. Hold and breathe. Untwist, reach the arms up and extend. Let's take our chair squats here. Simply come down into your chair and up for one. Come down nice and deep and two. Down and three down and four you got four more five six last two seven last one and eight let's come back to that chair palms together take that same twist so we're going back to that same side again right elbow up and then from here, make sure all your weight is in your right foot. You're going to lift your left foot off the mat and slowly step it all the way back into your lunge. Holding that twist here. Untwist the body. Arms reach up to the sky into your high lunge. Hold. And then hands come all the way down to the mat. Stepping back into plank and let's flow it out. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog on your inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here for yourself. Let those heels sink down. And then when you're ready, the next leg reaches up. We're going to go ahead and touch that knee to your chest. And then extend for one. Bring that left knee to your chest. And two, beautiful, you got two more. Touch the chest. And last one. Hold it, elbow touches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, extend it up, hold. Big breath in, and then exhale, big step forward into your lunge position now. Finding your center, making sure the knee is over your ankle. Right palm stays down, left hand reaches up into your twisted lunge. Find your center, find your breath. 
Make sure you got a good balance here because we're going to start by reaching that left arm back as you lift your body up into your twisted lunge here. Palms together. Let's go ahead and bring that right elbow over to your left knee or what we like to call our single leg chair. Keep your balance. Remember, if you want to extend and go a little bit further, you can extend the elbows. If not, continue to keep the palms together. Now, if your elbows are straight, go ahead and come back to that prayer position. We're going to transition to the chair, stepping the back foot forward, sinking a little lower with the hips, staying that twisted chair. And twist the body extend the arms. We're going to do our chair squats. This time we're going to add two extra ones. We're going to do a full set of ten. Reach and three. Reach and four. Very nice. Keep going. See if you can go a little deeper each time. Make sure the knees are staying together, the feet are together. And last one from here. Hold that chair, palms together, going back to that twisted chair, right elbow to your left knee, and then lift your right foot off the mat, slowly step back into that single-legged chair twist. Hold. Breathe. Untwist the body. Arms reach up. High lunge here, hold, open the chest and the heart. Swing the hands back down, and let's take that flow. You're going to step the foot back into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Hold it here. See if you can go a little bit deeper. Let that chest fall a little bit closer to the ground. And then from here, transition to plank. Shift your weight to one side, opening to side plank. If you want to modify, bring that knee down. And then from here, what we're going to do is called your starfish. So simply lift the leg and bring it down. Two, we're just doing four. Three, now last one, open and hold. You're going to bend that top knee and see if you can plant the heel and the toes right onto that inner thigh. Keep lifting from the hips and then take the right foot, step it forward and simply reach the right fingers all the way over to the front of your mat as if somebody attached a string to your right hip and they're pulling you up. You can do a little arm circle, come back to plank, back to your full plank and take a flow, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog on your inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, you guys, let's do it one more time on the other side. Round forward to plank. Open to the other side plank. Arm up. And when you're ready, starfish, lift it up. Two. Three. Now this last one, I want you to lift and hold. Bending that top knee and planting your foot to the inside of your thigh. Lifting with the hips. Keeping the balance. Stepping forward with that foot now and reach the left fingers to the top of your mat. Just a big side stretch here. Beautiful arm circle in front. Step back to side plank. And then when you're ready, come back to your full plank and take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And big exhale as you take your downward facing dog. Awesome. Hold it here one more time. And then come on down to your knees. 
And what we're gonna do here is do our double pigeons. Great posture for the glutes. So first, you're gonna bring one leg to about 90 degrees. The other heel comes on top of the knee. And then the other knee comes down. So you're literally stacking your shins. And now depending on where you are, some of you might be just seated and others might want to come forward. So don't worry where you are in this position. As long as you're feeling a stretch in the glutes and the hips, that's what we want here. Awesome. Now slowly from here, let's go ahead and bring the body back up. Reaching the arms up and then simply switching legs. So that top leg is gonna go on the bottom, other leg comes down. You can also push if you need to with your hand. You can just relax and sit, or you can come back to your forward fold here. Just find what works best for you. Take a deep breath in, exhale, let it go, slowly lift your body up, and then palms together to your heart. Beautiful, release the legs, and just a quick little windshield wipe with the knees, letting go of any tension in the hips, giving those legs a little shake out, a little break, and then come into your lotus posture. Take a deep breath in, let's reach the arms up, and take a nice big side stretch. Whatever side you like to start with, just reach as far as you can. Good, now switching to the other side. Reach the other arm over. Keeping both of your sit bones down on the floor. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale back to center. Big breath in, reach the arms up to the sky. Palms together, exhale to your heart. And one more, big reach up to the sky, biggest breath of the day. Palms together, big long exhale out. Palms together at your heart. And bowing down to your heart, thanking yourself for your beautiful practice today and for dedicating this time to yourself. Thank you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you again. Namaste. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media like Instagram and Facebook. Lots of love. See you soon.